Good morning, everybody. How are you all today? And today we will talk about a sampling method problem. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. Says an instructor at RCBC wants to a college wants to find out on the average how many days per semester a student is absent in a math class. She selects randomly five, five students from each of the math classes that are running that semester at RCBC. This is an example of A random sampling, B cluster sampling. C, stratified sampling, D, convenience sampling. Well, random sampling means randomly selecting some students from the entire population. Cluster sampling means you divide the population into clusters. That is say the number of say clusters of math classes running that semester, then select only a few of those clusters. Say you select, say there are 10 classes is running, math classes running that semester, you select two of those 10 math classes and then you interview or survey all the students in each or each of the students in these two classes. You do not leave anybody in those two classes that you have selected. That would be cluster sampling. Stratified sampling, what is stratified sampling? You divide the population into strata or groups or classes in this case, the population has been divided, population of math students uh, have been divided into classes, all the math classes. So the population of math students fall into all the math classes uh, that are running in that semester. And then you randomly select, she randomly selected five students from each of these math class. So this is an example of stratified sampling, okay? Convenience sampling, this is not convenience sampling. Convenience sampling, when you conveniently select a sample, and that is a very poor choice because then the randomness in the data in the sample is not there, okay? Because in C, so our correct answer is this one, C, okay? Stratified sampling, why? Because the there are strata or groups of math classes, then five students, have been randomly selected from each class to interview and find out how many days they're absent in the math classes entire semester. So this is an example of stratified sampling, okay? So now we will move to the next problem, which is also another problem on uh, sampling. Okay. A study was conducted to find the frequency, that is how many times a week and the amount of time residents uh, in a city spend at a local park. The first house in a neighborhood is selected and then every seventh house after that is selected. This is an example of what? A, random sampling. This is definitely not random. We are not randomly selecting the houses. Convenient sampling, this is not convenient sampling because we are following a method. The method is uh, the first house and then every seventh house after that. Option C, stratified sampling. We divide, did not divide houses into groups or strata. So this is not stratified sampling. So what is my correct answer? My correct answer is D. Systematic sampling. Why? Because I selected the first house in the neighborhood 
and then every seventh house after that. So my system is the first house and then every seventh house after that. That is my system. Therefore, this is an example of systematic sampling. So I'll stop here today. If you have any comment, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll appreciate that. And if you like this video, also let your friends know about it so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. And thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.